Hey guys and welcome back to the garden. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Blanca. So as promised, today's video is going to be another one of those videos where I fertilize with you guys. But actually today I am not going to be fertilizing. I am going to be applying some fungicide to my orchids. So last video, um, we were out here. I told you exactly how I fertilize, exactly what, um, what I do um, and what mixtures I use. And, um, and it was a great video, you guys really enjoyed it. You guys said, I'm gonna do it with you. So if you're in the need to apply some fungicide, join me. Um, you can pause this video right here, you can grab your supplies and we can apply the fungicide together. Uh, so um, you guys, last video, um, or a few videos ago, I was out here, I um, fertilized everything and you guys loved it. I motivated you guys to get out there and fertilize. So um, I did it also, um, for me because I need lots of motivation to do this. Um, so anyways, I went ahead and I fertilized and of course it always happens. It was a downpour about 30 minutes after. Um, and I always get discouraged when that happens, but Carlos from Ofi did tell me that plants absorb the fertilizer really, really fast. So I don't have to freak out every time I fertilize and then it rains, or I don't have to um, not fertilize because it's gonna be raining that day. So, um, I got this advice from Carlos from Ofi. They are the experts, so I want to pass it along. If you fertilize and it rains that same day, maybe 30, 45 minutes, an hour later, um, don't worry, that fertilizer did not go to waste. Your plants absorbed it. That's what I heard from him, um, so I am passing it along. If you guys know more or less um, of that kind of rule, uh, let me know in the comments section or let me know if, um, I don't know, it's not true <laughs> or, or you guys have heard otherwise. Uh, but I did get that advice from Carlos, so I feel a little bit more comfortable fertilizing even on a day that I think it's gonna rain. This way I don't keep pushing it off and pushing it off and pushing it off. Anyway, so today's video, like I, um, like I said, I need to add fungicide to these guys. It has been raining nonstop. Today it's actually cold and rainy, and I'm a little bit worried because I do have a sprinkler system which just um, turned off. It's um, a little bit after 7 a.m., so I wanted, I wanted to get out here, do this before I leave to work. Um, I feel like if I don't apply this fungicide, I'm gonna have some fungal issues. And I discovered that in this Vanda right here. Um, I don't have lots of fungal issues um, with my orchids because I do keep them outdoors and, um, and they get a lot of ventilation. But sometimes when it rains nonstop like, like it does and with my sprinkler system, I think it's just too much water for them. Um, so I discovered this yesterday walking the garden it made me really really sad this for sure is a fungal infection on this orchid so i am going to hit her today with some fizan 20 which i'm going to show you exactly um exactly what that is and this you guys is what fungus looks like um sometimes it's very confusing um to to kind of uh differentiate from um it's uh, to differentiate from sunburn and fungus. So sunburn looks very similar to fungus, uh, but it will only kind of be on one of the, you see, I've got some fungal issues here too. So yeah, I definitely have to um, hit all my orchids with that fungicide. Um, so f <laughs> I got sidetracked. I was looking at the fungus on these, on these orchids and I forgot what I was saying. So the difference between um, fungus and sunburn looks very similar. Um, so sunbird kind of just um, is on one. Okay, so this right here. This one right here is probably a sunburn because it's not, it's not really on both sides and there's no texture. So that might be sunburn, might be fungus. I mean, it's, it's a little bit hard to tell, but definitely those orchids out back that I just showed you need to be, um, need to be treated. So um, it's good to treat with this stuff when it's a uh, rainy season it's not i love it because once i got introduced to the fison 20 which i'm going to link it link it down below um which you can um, order on amazon order on orchid supply store ofi has it um once i discovered uh this new fungal fungal um <laughs> solution it's so early i can't even think um i actually don't mind treating for fungus because it's it's very light, I feel. It's not as toxic like the thiamol that I used to use. Um, so this here is called Fizan 20. You can actually use this a few times a week if, if you need to. 
it's not um it's not as strong it's kind of like a soap so what i what i do um like it says on the um like it says in the back of this is that you mix two tea two teaspoons per gallon of water so one tablespoon per gallon of water is the uh, the amount of a fungicide that you want to apply i've already mixed it in inside my uh my six gallon insecticide sprayer which is what i use to fertilize and use fungicide and use pesticide and all that stuff so it's already in here and it still has a little bit of still has a little bit of that um that seaweed kelp but it's it's fine uh you see how it's soapy it's not as strong so you're gonna see what how it how it gets once i apply the water to it so i did go in ahead and mixed in enough for six gallons which is going to be all distributed here um once all of this is consumed you will have applied six gallons to your orchids so it's already it's already attached i'm just gonna add the water and put it to a six gallon line all right and you can also find this um this chapin sprayer and all of the fertilizing um, products that i use down in the comment section i've went ahead and added links to them so you can um just order on Amazon if you'd like or like I said give Ophi a call because ah you see what happens see how soapy it is so I need to go in a little bit softer because I'm gonna waste the stuff I'm only at the three gallon so I'm gonna give that a little bit of time to just get rid of all these suds so right now it's up to the three gallon line I gotta fill it up all the way to the six gallon so we're gonna wait until that happens and I guess we're gonna chat. So, um, so yeah, I've been I've been using fungicides more since I've had the Fizen 20. I do love it. So, um, I used to use thiamil, which was chalky, super strong, and um, and this time and this stuff, it smells kind of like dish soap. I mean, I wouldn't. I would still use you know all your protective stuff because it is, um, it's a fungicide, it's a bactericide. And that is all the information. And this little, how much, this was $10 and it is not sure how many ounces, but just so you can have an idea, that's the size of the, um, of the container. All right, so while the soap is, um, is, is, is going away, let me show you guys how the, my new Vandas are doing. Um, <laughs> this one here is my dinner plate Vanda, which is the one that grows as it ages the flowers get larger look at the difference between the blooms I love this one you guys not fragrant but really really pretty and this one came from Bang Zhang. Um, this one I love because of the uh, the design the pattern on the leaf on the flowers beautiful and this one's a little bit more blue than the other one I love it. Look at that flower spike. And then back there, I'm going to just zoom over there, is my Evergreen Delight. Beautiful. It's so gorgeous. And then right here is my newly bloomed Xena from Bang Jong, and she's really, really fragrant. Mm, she smells good. She's really, really fragrant from Bang Jong. Look at those colors, you guys. Beautiful. So, um, okay, we can put water again and I can start doing this. So I like to use, um, which is something that I didn't mention on the last video, um, I like to fertilize and I like to use fungicides and I like to use insecticides early in the morning. You don't wanna use it when, you don't wanna apply it when the sun is out um, cause that can, it can burn your orchid leaves. So you want to do this um, just either early in the morning or sometime um, maybe like after 4 p.m. So let's see. Okay, so we are at the five gallon mark and we're going to start. Okay, so um, I do like to mix in when I do the, uh, the fungicide fertilizer, but since I just fertilized um, two days, two or three days ago, I don't want to overkill and um, and over fertilize, so I'm not going to be um, mixing anything in this mixture because I do want to fertilize um, probably like Friday or sometime during the weekend. So I'm going to have to put you guys down so I can 
tighten this up. So just bear with, bear with me for just a second. So yeah, some people do add fertilizer to their Faisan. I like to do that. That way I can do, um, I can do both things at once. And, um, and it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly safe. And I'm having a super hard time covering this. So we're going to have to just... Uh, sorry, you guys. I'm just trying to... There you go. You know, it's really hard to do this with one hand. But I got it. It's on here. All right, so, um, so yeah, so if you need to fertilize and use a fungicide, you can do that at the same time. It's perfectly safe for your orchids and it actually saves you guys, um, saves you guys time. So it's in here and we're gonna get started. Let's see, I need to really go back here where I have this orchid from Crow Smith, which is really affected by the fungus, so, uh-oh. Sorry, you guys. I'm sorry if I, I'm making you dizzy, but my... There you go. My hose was, was tangled. All right, so you really want to... Oh, look at how great. I love to see that soap just drenching the leaves. So you really want to get in there with the fungicide and really, really, really um, just hit them up good. So with a fungicide, you don't want to um, you don't want to want to sit here and drench the roots because the roots is not the problem. That's not where the fungus is. <laughs> it's in the leaves. So you want to just make sure that you hit you get the leaves really good and that they absorb everything that's in there to get rid of that fungal fungal infection. And like I said, it's not strong at all. You, 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 I mean, you always should wear protective gear, like I mentioned before, because you don't want to get this stuff on you. But to me, it feels like I am just applying dishwashing liquid to my orchids. So I will sit here and try to get all of my orchids nice and covered with the solution. Let me just pause this really quick. So this is what it looks like, you guys very soapy very um very soluble not like chalky like that style that was that was rough i'm trying to find something also since um i'm doing this and and chatting with you guys at the same time um i also do not get anything on on flowers especially not like fungicides and pesticides i don't like to get fertilizer on them either so try to steer away from flowers that are in bloom uh, so I'm trying to find like a good a really good um, uh, pesticide to, to substitute the, the orthene that I use for thrips so if you guys um, know of any any good pesticide I know that, uh, that Chris had mentioned something that I could use um, flowers, um, that I could use um, but I haven't tried it. Let me know if you guys have used um, anything that's, that works well um, for thrips, like orthene does, but it's not as toxic. Let me know in the comment section. And I cannot wait, you guys, for this weekend. Remember that Ophi is having, um, Ophi is having a, a sale with a bunch of, an orchid event with a bunch of um, of orchid growers that have never been there before. Um, Odoms, Max, Bio Orchids. Um, Smiley's been there, but I always love to see her when she goes. I can't wait to see what she's got, um, what she's got this time. Uh, so, uh, Pam is gonna be there with, um, with Orchids in Bloom. So it's gonna be a nice show. I'll be there Friday, so I'll, I'll make a video for you guys so you can um, enjoy that show with me. And that starts on the 14th. Last video, I said it was the 13th, but it's the 14th, the 15th, and the 16th of January. And then at the same time, Cruel Smith in Apopka is having their own event with other vendors. Um, I think Springwater will be over there. Um, 
who else is going? Uh, well, of course, Cool Smith. Need I say more? They are, you know, the best. <laughs> and um, and you know who's gonna be there? If you want to get pots, Josh is gonna be there. I'm not sure if Josh is doing both weekends, but um, Josh will be there um, for, uh, this weekend or next weekend. You can actually go to the Cool Smith um, website and um, and ask them. So. That'll be fun. They're gonna be there. They're gonna be doing. Uh, they're gonna be doing the orchid show this weekend and next weekend on the twenty on the twenty first. And I am trying, trying, trying to see if I can um, if I can make it. But I don't know. I I I think it's gonna be hard for me to make it um, to Apopka on the twenty first. So I'll keep you guys posted. And then. Um, and then what, um, and then we have Boca coming up also. Valentine's, around Valentine's weekend. So that'll be fun. Excited to see my orchid grower growing friends <laughs> this weekend. And then, um, and that should be fun. But yeah, I'm about almost done. About almost all the way, um, all the way at the bottom, with with this fungicide. Just want to spray everything a little bit better. I might have to refill, so I'll do that off camera. But hopefully, this video helped you guys. Oh man, it's trying to get windy. Hopefully, this video helped you guys. Um, today's video was applying fungicide. We are doing this in the new year, you guys. Getting our orchids nice and healthy. And hopefully we can, um, by spring, get beautiful flowers. So, yeah. I am done here with the, with the fungicide. Um, again, if you guys uh, are interested, I have linked the Fizan 20 down below. Um, if you're looking for a good fun fun fungicide, Fung, fung, fungicide <laughs> if you guys are looking for a good fungicide that one is amazing i love it it's not that strong like i said earlier it's a little bit soapy so you can use it a little bit you know with with more confidence that it's not going to be super toxic like the thiamil and um and the other chalky solutions so anyway i hope this video was helpful it's still early enough where i'm so happy i got it done and now I can breathe a little bit easier. I was really, really worried about um, the rain we were getting and the fact that my sprinkler systems were on. Um, and then I saw that orchid with all that fungus, um, that that Vanda from Cruel Smith, such a bummer. I hope I'm able to, um, to get it to bounce back. I mean, they should, you know, it's only on a few leaves. I wanna show this to you guys again, but look at that. Oh. So disappointing. So yeah, it's been hit. I'm actually gonna send a picture over to um, to Chris and Carlos at Ophi's. They're very helpful. Um, if you ever uh, want some great orchid care advice, um, if you have like fungal issues or if you have something going on with your orchids, um, their phone number is on their website. Um, Ophi International, I think, is the is the um, the website name. Um, you can actually uh, you know send them pictures, give them a call, and they will tell you exactly what to do. They always do it for me and for lots of subscribers that um, reach out to them. Um, and they will tell you exactly what um, your orchid needs, whether it needs fungicide, whether it needs like insecticide, whether it needs CalMag. They're super, super helpful, helpful with all of that information. So um, don't hesitate to give them a call. They are amazing and a great help. And I will actually be visiting them. Um, like I said, they're gonna be hosting this weekend, the Ophi sale with lots of great vendors. Let me turn off my hose and um and that's it you guys this was this morning's video before i go let me just show you how pretty my cat leas are doing how good they're doing and how pretty they look look at that these have been in bloom for a while they like to be here i'm uh, attached to this rubellini tree and i'm getting three more flowers they love to be here because it's not as sunny it's a good spot for them and their their flowers have lasted so pretty and they're very fragrant i got these from carmela and that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video 
um hope you guys have a wonderful tuesday and week i will definitely see you guys in the garden again before the show uh because we are going to fertilize when are we going to fertilize today is tuesday um maybe you guys will see me <laughs> at the show before we fertilize uh, because i just fertilized um on monday yeah you know when did i fertilize i can't remember i have to look back so uh you guys will probably see me if i have if i have to, if i have if it's not been that long since i fertilized you guys will see me at ofi on friday and then back in the garden to fertilize so um that's it thank you for watching like i said have a wonderful day and see you in the next video <laughs> bye bye